Hi, it's that time of the year again, the Electric City Flower Show. And it's going to be on June the 10th. It's Norma Jeffries. You probably remember me from last year as we talked about the Electric City Flower Show. And I just want to bring you up to date on some of the wonderful things that we have planned for this year. You know, as anything, we learn from year to year things that are good and things that we could do better. So we learned from last year's activity the things that we heard comments about. We appreciate it. You're letting us know those kinds of things we could do better. So we did. Everybody loves food. And we didn't have enough food last year, but we do and will have food trucks uh, this year, plus the Black Watch Cafe is there to help us uh, to supply the visitors to the show with food. Also, uh, that's new this year is the Children's Scavenger Hunt. We have a map uh, that each um, child under, I think the age is 12, will come to the SMRA tent and you'll pick up a, a map and there's different drawings on that map along the way and the people will be waiting and stationed there to give you a stamp to put on your map. And some of the places that you'll visit on the map is the, um, we have a chestnut uh, field that you'll go there to the chestnut garden, the Everhart Museum, as well as our butterfly uh, garden. And there'll be representatives along the way that'll be stamping your page. Once you finish that page, you bring it back to the SMRI tent and we'll put it in for a drawing. We have several drawings at the end for anyone that completes that um, scavenger hunt sheet. And what else is new? Let me see, you know what else is new? We have the representatives from the Bonsai Garden is going to be given here and they're going to be um, giving a wonderful presentation on what's all involved with uh, growing bonsai. I know I'm, I'm not good at it, so it's going to be good to hear from a professional what it's like to grow your own and take care of your bonsai gardens. We're also going to have more vendors. Last year we had about 20 vendors. This year we have about 40, so it's doubled in size. And so there's going to be um, those kinds of goods for sale, flowers and jewelry, flower pins, and just those kind of things that we like to take away as a memory. And also a part of the show, the big part is that it's free. It's open to all the public and it's free. And the reason that we do it is free. We want you to enjoy the park. We want you to enjoy the uh, flowers. We want you to bring your children so that your children can um, become excited about flowers and they want to get in involved in gardening. So uh, bring your kids, it's free, there's no charge. And also, uh, we, do, we are providing transportation this year and the transportation, the first stop will be at City Hall and it's a 14-seater transportation, so you know, you might have to wait, but it's running on every hour and it brings you up here to the park uh, to the flower show. The flower show is located right at the top of um, Vine Street and Mulberry Street as you come past the hospital and you'll start to see the signs for um, the flower show. And also, um, the final thing is that the hours. You want to know what time to be here? We'll be here at 10 o'clock until 3 o'clock. And uh, we look forward to seeing everyone here. And remember, it's free and that there is free transportation from downtown Scranton to the Flower Show. So I'm hoping to see you that day. And, um, you know, the one thing we can do is plan, plan, plan. But we can't plan for the weather. So we're hoping that we have a great day that day. Look forward to seeing you.